Hi Leo, welcome to your abundance reading for December 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the resin recommend a reader shout out which goes to Tarot by Bronx. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love. This is intended to be a money and career reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Oh, look at that. Networking. Woo All right. King of Swords, that could be Gemini. Chariot, that could be um, Cancerian. This, it very well could be you developing a business plan to go out on your own. Um, and the trick is actually getting started and just doing it. The time for preparation has passed. It is now time to launch. Could be that. Could be you networking. Um, a lot of online networking, submitting resumes, that sort of thing, in preparation to um, leave. Could be trying to secure financing. Okay, all right. Just for Leo. Leo. Let's see what that means. Ten of Cups. Okay. The Tower. That could be Scorpio. Six of Wands. Justice. That could be Libra. Four of Cups. Eight of Swords. High Priestess, Two of Cups, whoopsie, The Lovers, all right, put this here, okay, there we go, all right, so Pisces or Cancerian here, interesting, So what's the, okay? So we've got you're actually going to be okay. If there's been any kind of disruption, it looks to be fine, um, not fine per se, but it's not going to change your position on things. We got the lovers and the two of cups here, so there could be a uh, significant relationship, a romantic relationship featured for you here. Okay, so. Hmm. Pardon me. It looks like things were, uh, <laughs> there's been a disruption in the force. <laughs> there's been some upheaval here. Hmm. Did something just happen as far as things being like, has there been a change in management or has there been some kind of shift in Ownership? What? What is this? I'm gonna set back, but it doesn't have to be disastrous. Is that why everybody's worried? Because this is there's been a change in ownership or management. All right, all right. Let's let's do the cards. Okay, what's this high priestess about for Leo? You know, high priestess for Leo. You know. Death, that could be Scorpio. What's this Six of Wands about? The Lovers. You see that here too. Interesting. I think there's an undercurrent. I think, okay, it, you've got some... Well, there's been some changes, hasn't there? So it could be that you've got a relationship, a significant romantic relationship that's kind of... Um, at odds as well as there's a there's some changes at work the thing is though you're still fine somehow you're unaffected i mean you're you're involved but you're not affected if that makes sense what's this justice about it's like you're watching everything happen what's this justice about and there's upheaval but you're there's change but you're still um stable what's this justice about Hanged man, okay. Four of Cups. Huh. All right, so the reason why you're fine is because you're going to be offered another job. It's like a lateral move. You've got another, I was going to say side offer, no, but it's like a lateral position. Um, so it, there's, it doesn't have to be stressful maybe you don't know that so you are stressing out but there's an offer that is on the table 
uh, for something to the equivalent of what you do as far as hours or stability. It's, it's kind of like the same, but in another department or the same at another facility, but it's same, same. It's just eight of swords. This eight of swords. The magician. All right. So whatever stress you have this month is going to be deciding what to do, but it's not going to be for lack of an offer. You've got another offer, a lateral offer for where you're at. Maybe that's why you're not affected, but you're involved. That makes sense. Because you, the, this company has shifted or there's a, a closing, there's been some surprise news. Um, it's going to be an adjustment, but it looks like you're going to be happy about it. There is a, it's like your relationship is in the background. There's, a, there's a romantic relationship here also that might be on, um, hold or on hiatus. <laughs> um, things are in flux, but it's necessary changes. It's an adjustment, but it works out. It's I hope you're getting what I'm saying. It's like this is, there's a lot of shifting going on in your personal life as well as work. And on top of that, we have a busy month for December anyway, but everything works out. It's just topsy-turvy for a, for a couple of weeks, honestly. And it looks like, if I may be so bold, I know this is a money and uh, finance reading, but it looks like there's a significant other relationship, a romantic relationship here that is, um, that is, in, uh, I don't want to be negative, but is it's, there's the issue of a romantic relationship that it doesn't look like you two are talking or it feels like that's on hold. It feels like that's been kind of put on hold or is in limbo. So what's this two of cups about? Is it that you're okay with work being a distraction or having to adjust because this romantic relationship, you're like, er, just leave it over there. Oh, well, there it is. Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so... A lot is happening for you. Holy cow, Leo. A lot's going on this month. Um, you got a relationship, a, a significant other relationship that is like in kind of topsy-turvy mode. And then you've got changes at work, changes in management, or changes in a facility uh, like site, like you might have to, you know, they might have moved you to the same position, but like three cities over or something, but there's changes. However, it's a lateral change. You're not going to be without income or work. Um, it is for the better, but it's not something that you see that as right now, but things are changing with your management or administration or whoever you're the, the, the boss level, uh, and, yeah, that's, so you're involved, but not affected. What's this tower about? Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're not going to have time to be bored. That's for darn sure. You're going to have, don't be surprised if you have, um, if you get word that you have been handpicked to kind of take, over a few things or like, okay, this is what you do here at this facility, but we're going to transfer you to here. And we actually want you to be in charge of this department or this. Don't be surprised if there's kind of like this promotion, but not really. Um, that'll happen in three months, but right now they just, you're just going to be kind of a figurehead, but the actual supervisorial duties or whatnot are going to actually take place. Um, probably by March ish, but right now they're just kind of transplanting you physically, but they're, I think there's plans in the works to have you actually head something up or be in charge of, um, a department, a division, something, there's going to be more responsibility, more pay, but that doesn't happen until March, but there is a physical move, um, between now and January within your job. Okay. Uh, again, this could also be too that you're being affected by um, your relationship. That this is kind of having a, an effect on your work also. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting moved around at work. And then you and I don't know what we're going to do with what we have, you know, relationship wise. So yeah, and it looks like there's some big decisions and changes that you're going to have to 
um, decide upon. It looks like everything's coming to a head in December. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, Leah. It feels like, again, you are, you are involved, but you are not affected negatively. But this is a very busy month full of choices for you. What else for Leo? Leo. Permanence. All right, so that feels like all these changes that are happening are going to are setting the stage or you're laying the groundwork right now because whatever happens now within the next three months is going to kind of be where you set down roots. So it's almost like you're making decisions like, do I want to be with this person? Yes or no. How do I feel about this person? That's on the table. And then also about this job, you're like, okay, do I want to stay here? Because if I stay here, I'm going to be here for a while or do I want to shift or transfer that sort of thing. And it, it feels like you're poised to set down roots. It is going to be your choice. Perhaps you're thinking about is that, you know, a big decision about is this going to make me happy? Is this going to be what is fulfilling and what is going to be a sound, you know, career that offers me good income for a family someday, that sort of thing. All of those options are on the table. Is this going to get me what I want? Am I going to be fulfilled? That is all on the table and that looks like what you're thinking about right now. Um, whether this is going to be an, a call to action for you or if it's just a stepping stone, either way, this is going to be a good experience for you. Um, if nothing else, it's going to be looked at favorably if you were to decide to go to another place of employment or apply for advancement, that sort of thing. This is good experience nonetheless. It also looks like you actually um, are, you thrive that there's upheaval right now, but this is a pretty solid transition for you. It, it serves you well in the future. There's, it's, it's um, a bit, I was gonna say juggly. It's a bit kind of, of a lot of chaos right now, but you settle in, you're fine. You're kind of, for the Leos that I'm reading for, you're kind of at your best when that happens because the leader in you kicks in and you're just like, all right, this is how we're gonna manage this. And it's kind of like you just sort of see everybody through and that's why you're going to be um they're going to want to put you over here to start managing this to bring everybody else over to help with the transition there's some there some things happen there's some kind of transition some kind of management changeover some kind of closing down a facility opening something else something to where they're actually going to ask you to spearhead a few things and then the pay and the position the official position will come later what else for it leo Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, it, this puts you in a very good position. That could be Capricorn. Everything is going to work out. It's just very topsy-turvy, very busy right now. Social life, decisions to be made. What are we? What are we doing? And then not compounded, but also the, the work, uh, the workplace. And then on top of that, December is usually pretty busy and hectic with the holidays and get togethers and all that. Uh, by the way, uh, happy holidays to you if you celebrate. <laughs> Gonna be busy. All right. Busy, joyous, festive. What else for you? Oh, yay. Hey. <laughs> I'm over here bouncing in my chair. Okay, you're, this says the sun. Your perseverance is rewarded. Yay. And we got permanence here. Yay. This is going to be your call. You will be rewarded for your loyalty at this company. Um, you have upward movement highlighted here also in time. Not right away. Probably within a year. So if you want to, the advancement will be there for you, but it won't be for about another year. Just saying. So this good for you. Good for you. Your work, your, your haven't been overlooked. Your, um, work, your leadership, your work ethic is valued. They just haven't got around to telling you yet. Just saying it's it. They're busy. <laughs> it's hectic. <laughs> okay. Look at that. The sun lovers, 10 of cups. All right. No for it. Yeah. The thing also what you should know right now too is any changes that are made right now 
could lead to permanence. So depending on what your decision is, where your commitment lies, because once you commit to something, you're going to see it through. And maybe that's why you're deliberating so much. But, um, but I mean, they are, to be fair, they are pretty big decisions. But whatever you decide to commit to is where you're going to start to build roots. And maybe that's why there's a lot of deliberation going on for you is because you're like, all right, if I do this, there's no looking back. There's no turning back. I'm, I'm doing this. So take your time to decide. Um, but it is going to lead to um, permanence and stability for you. And you will be happy with it. You will be content with that. You might want more and you can leave, but this, it, it puts you in a really good position for, especially for later advancement. What else for you? All right, so we got six of, no, five of swords, queen of cups. So that could be Cancerian, and this is five of swords. So, okay, uh, decisions. I wonder if this, hold on a minute, what is, because this is hitting me right here. The queen of cups, the high priestess, and death. What do we got going on there? So it's obviously you're you're kind of uh, there's a lot. It could be an emotional decision. You're feeling like you know what I need to take the emotion out of this and just brass tacks. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't need the emotional distraction. Oh my gosh! But yet at the same time you're like oh my gosh. So you're you're probably trying to make a decision based on stability and future longevity, as far as. Um, money career that sort of thing and put kind of your emotions about something on hold but it looks like that's going to be something that you're going to struggle with that making this decision about this job is going to be something that i don't know <laughs> this this relationship in the background is really affecting you with this it's like everything's happening at once all right what's this high priestess and this queen of cups about You're putting your own needs first, as you should, and perhaps you're feeling some kind of way about that. Maybe some guilt, you're feeling guilty, or it's a difficult decision, but it needs to be done. The stability and longevity needs to come first. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that because there's there's great value in emotional connection and commitment to other, but you have to also know that you can take care of yourself. So this is one of those decisions that is coming down to brass tacks. Um, which will you choose? And it looks like you're you're like, you know what? You can hate me for it, but you'll thank me later. I've got to devote myself to this decision and work, and I've really got to do this. You can be mad at me, but later on down the road, it's going to be worth it. So this is all about making those tough decisions and doing what needs to be done and putting yourself first, which for some of you might not be a tough decision. Doesn't have to be, but get rid of the guilt if you feel the guilt this has to be done you need to look out for yourself you need to take care of yourself if the relationship is meant to be if this love is meant to be with this person it will be there you're not doing anything wrong by putting your needs first and taking care of yourself and coming to somebody as a whole complete person offering hey i've got i can take care of myself you don't need to do anything for me i'm here because i want to be here not because i need to be here and i trust that you're here because you want to be here as a whole person not because you need me either that's a solid relationship two whole parts make a whole part not this have z business so putting yourself first get rid of the guilt or the fear about any kind of um you know <laughs> well, I feel loyal or like, oh, my romantic relationship, get rid of that. No, don't get rid of it. But I mean, to put that to the side. That'll be there when when this work business dies down. But right now, um, it looks like work is in flux, but it's going to settle in about March. And then the advancement comes a year after that. So busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes. I didn't intend for it to be that long. I hope this was helpful, Leo. I'm going to end here because I could keep going on and on, couldn't I? Uh, thank you for stopping by. Much love and support to you. Good luck with this. It's going to be busy, 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 and then it dies down. Okay, all right. Thank you for stopping by, um, and happy holidays if you celebrate. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.